So here we are on the, the afternoon of the 20th of April, 2019. We are with Alicia Stott and Susan Metzger from the, from the Polly Ogden chapter of Daughters of the American Revolution. And they are about to put a colony of bees into the Daughters of the American Revolution's sponsored hive. Alicia is the one with the jacket on. There we go. Alicia is the one with the jacket on, and she's holding the bees, and she's the one that they selected to do the artwork on the on the hive. This is Stephen. He brought over frames for their hive. And these are the frames that those bees are going to go live on once the colony is released into the hive. By the way, this is Gary LaGrange. He's the president of SAVE and Golden Prairie Honey Farm. Oh, I'm sorry. And this is Reagan, our Kansas State student farm uh, student garden manager. Thanks for coming out, Reagan. You're doing good, but from here, Alicia, it looks like you're almost a little nervous holding 12,000 bees. They're heavy. They are. It's because of the sugar water. I'm like, I'm getting my work out here. Ladies. Uh oh. Did you drop? Yep. Yep. Uh, so we're gonna hold on. Take a few minutes. Now we want to make sure that our queen is in there and alive. So she's gonna be the bee in there that is larger than this. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't need to hold on. Pretty much anything. Yeah, protecting it. Yeah. Okay, so if we move this. Oh, good. She's right here. Not she looks here. healthy. Uh -huh. She is. Good. Okay, so to install her, we're going to install her. stick in there. Mm. She'll stick in there a lot better once we get it between the little things. We're going to do the same thing. These in a package are very docile because they don't have a home to protect. Okay, yeah, I was wondering. And that's why they're not really bothered. Yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, just sleep in the I'm like, hmm. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to hold that, that strap and we're going to put it right back where this frame came from.
Yeah, I'll put the box right down the hole. Up right, right there in that little corner. All right, now tomorrow, 99% of the bees will be out of there. Awesome. And over here. Starting to do that yeah. thing. Nope. <laughs> I guess we probably just need a couple of scripts. Okay. Right, we're good, Gary. I got one. Oh, perfect. So those are going to be our shims so our feeder bucket doesn't sit directly on top. Alright, so when you take your feeder bucket over, it's going to work. On a vacuum, it's just keeping the tool legs all good and tight. It's going to initially drain some out, and that we're going to let drip around the outside. Okay. And then once it stops dripping, we put the feeder bucket right on the shims and turn it over. Okay. So, quickly? Yep. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Not over around the side. Oh, gotcha. Like the initial runoff, because we don't want to drown the beach. Straight okay. upside down. Like that? Yep. Yeah. Straight upside down. And once now? Once it stops dripping, put it right over there. Lisa came to the warehouse the other day when she dropped these off and she went through an entire planning process of whether she was going they were going to align the the designs on the different sides of the hide boxes or offset them. I like the red, white, and blue. But our Kansas wind doesn't You need a bit? Oh yeah. And you'll just keep on adding the the other two as the high gets uh, oh, well, this, this becomes the high, and then the next box is like a honey This comes to the last layers of bricks. Okay. We don't have to put honey out of each. We always set our bricks straight up the hive. Two days. Because if something will happen inside the hive, we'll have to keep an eye out. Okay. And turn that brick around. Ah. Ten more things. That will help the other bricks. So if somebody else is not here, if Gary or Tim comes out and I'm not here, they know that if that block is turned, we look into that hive a little bit deeper. Awesome. Maybe something's going on. Can we, can Lisa, can you Lisa. Thank you very much. It's a very nice box. You guys did a great job with it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now we're pros. You want to do one more? Okay. So was the was the the, the warehouse class that was, very was it was a good preparation? Yes. Excellent. Especially the putting the queen into the wax. Very good. Oh yeah. Alicia's season have been placed the colony into their new hive. The girls are spreading into the, the brood frames there, and they did it successfully, and they both enjoyed it, so now they're doing another one. We're going to pan around, see what it is, get everybody else in the video, but then we're going to stop videotaping. Here on the left, we have Colin from Maricor in Vista. He is our Save Farm grant writer. And he also has sponsored the hive, so the next video you see will 
will be uh, calling on some of his friends and placing bees in their hive. And over here, again we have again we have Stephen and Reagan. And we have some of the other ladies from Daughters of the American Revolution and one of their daughters. And with that, we'll conclude.